Yes, that's a great idea. We can make some cookies. Yo, I'm Mnemonic, and this is my son, Wesley. Wesley loves cookies. What child doesn't love cookies? That would be crazy. Cookies have ingredients, music has sounds and frequencies, and that's what mixing is all about, so things taste good and sound good. So we're gonna try and make some cookies, and then I'll show you what that looks like when you're making music. Make the highest frequency sound you can. Oh, you can go higher than that, I know you can, like a mouse. Now make the lowest sound you can make. When we're mixing, there's all kinds of frequencies. There's low ones and high ones. Kind of like mixing ingredients. I mix sugar. Sugar? What do you make with sugar? Cookies. Cookies? <laughs> yes, that's a great idea. We can make some cookies. So let's pretend, wait, what are these? Those are Quail eggs. We ran out of chicken eggs and all we had was quail eggs. Our different frequencies. What is this right here? Um, milk. Milk, baking powder, flour. Sugar. When you're mixing frequencies, it's just like mixing ingredients. What if we put 27 eggs in our cookie? How about two? So 27 is too many? Yeah. What if we put just this much sugar in our cookies? No. That's not enough? How about in this? So what if we put the whole bag of sugar in our cookies? <laughs> that would be so crazy. It needs to be just right in here. It needs to be just right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now we need some flour. This is exactly how you make cookies. It's also how you make music. You just experiment. Can we do this milk? Yeah, pour all that in there. Whoa, watch out though. Just keep it over the bowl. Sure. <laughs> oh, they're so tiny. Ah! <laughs> they're quaily. They're quaily. There we go. Just a little. Just a little. So I think we don't have enough flour. What do you think? Yeah. All of the ingredients are different frequencies and if you have too much of one frequency, then it won't sound good. Just like if you have too much of one ingredient, the cookies won't taste good. You gotta have it just right. This more looks like cake batter, so we'll have to work on that, but that's what's important. When you're mixing, you do need to experiment until you get familiarized with the frequencies, just like we need to get familiarized with the ingredients when we're making cookies. Eumonic from the future here. Those cookies were actually like a cake and they were pretty dry. So we gotta keep experimenting and keep mixing, which is what we're gonna actually do right now, featuring the sponsor of this entire series, Band Lab. For this batch of cookies, I have some different ingredients that are instruments and they all have different frequencies. So let's hear how they taste or see how they sound. Delicious. We got some drums, bass, synth, and some strings. Now the same way that our taste buds can only handle so much sugar, the same way our ears can only handle so many frequencies. So if there's a whole bunch of things clashing together, it's just not gonna sound good. And that's what mixing is all about. Finding a good balance between all of the different ingredients that make up your music. For this example, I have a bass sound that has a lot of low end and rumble stuff. Rumble stuff, that's what bass is called, rumble stuff. The sound is very low and thick. And then there's also this synth sound, which has a lot of low end rumble stuff 
two. Now when we're mixing, I could simply turn the synth down to make room for the bass. We don't use measuring cups when we're mixing sounds, but turning a sound up or down is the main way that you can control the amount of that ingredient or the sound in your recipe. That's volume or gain, turning the sound up and down. There's also pan, making the sound all the way in the left or all the way in the right. And then there's effects like EQs or equalizers. Now this is where the cookie baking metaphor kind of falls apart. Well. I guess that's how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> but a good way to control the different frequencies of each sound is with an equalizer. Like when you're in the car, you can turn up the bass or the treble, the highs. That's what an equalizer is. So I'm gonna add an equalizer to this and take away some of the low rumble stuff from that synth so the bass can have room and everything will taste good. Did you notice how after I added the EQ to make the synth less bassy, I was able to turn it up? That's because there's more room for it now. If the music that we're making and that we hear is like a bedroom, then the individual tracks are like furniture. So this bass is like a king size bed, so I may need to get a smaller dresser. And then everything can fit in the room and be cozy. This may not be the best metaphor, and it may not be the best example, but it's the subtle changes that can make really big differences while you're mixing. I'm serious, that batch of cookies was not cookies. It was cake, it was dry, and it was strange. So we realized that we needed to change some things next time. And that's all you gotta do when you're mixing your songs and making music. Listen to it and adjust accordingly. With all that being said, thanks for being here. Wesley, good job to you, buddy. I'm so proud of you. It was so much fun filming this with you. And Band Lab, thanks for sponsoring all of this. You can keep watching right here, subscribe for more, and as always, make more music. Peace.